Let me ask you this. Who do you think is responsible for safety in the workplace? Your employer? Your supervisor? You? Well, the answer is all the above. Everyone is responsible for safety in the workplace. And each group, being employers, supervisors, and workers, have different levels of responsibilities. Employers, for example, are responsible for the bigger picture. Their number one responsibility is to provide a safe and healthy workplace. Employers must also fix any workplace conditions that are hazardous to the health and safety of their workers and to ensure that workers know of all known health or safety hazards they might be exposed to. Other employer responsibilities include establishing an occupational health and safety policy, providing the required personal protective equipment, or PPE, and to provide information, instruction, training, and supervision necessary to ensure the health and safety of workers at the workplace. In British Columbia, employers must also make a copy of the Workers' Compensation Act readily available to their workers. To consult and cooperate with the Joint Health and Safety Committee and WorkSafe BC, and to comply with the Workers' Compensation Act and with WorkSafe BC regulations. Supervisors have similar responsibilities, but not as broad. For example, supervisors must ensure the health and safety of all workers directly under their direction and to be knowledgeable about regulations applicable to the work being supervised. Supervisors must also ensure that the workers under their supervision are made aware of all known health or safety hazards in the area that they work and that the workers comply with the Act and any regulations and applicable orders. And much like employers, supervisors must consult and cooperate with the Joint Health and Safety Committee and WorkSafe BC and to comply with the Workers' Compensation Act and with WorkSafe BC regulations. Now you as a worker have responsibilities as well. Workers are responsible for protecting their own health and safety and the health and safety of other persons who may be affected by the things the worker does at work. They must also carry out their work in accordance with established safe work procedures as required by regulation, such as the use or wearing of personal protective equipment and not to mess around in a way that may put another worker in danger and not to work when impaired by alcohol, drugs or other causes such as fatigue. Workers must also report to their supervisor or to their employer of any hazards they feel likely to put themselves or another person in danger. Same with PPE. If it isn't around or if it's damaged, it's not likely to be too protective. And just like their supervisors and employers, workers must consult and cooperate with the Joint Health and Safety Committee and WorkSafe BC, and to comply with the Workers' Compensation Act and WorkSafe BC regulations.